There's more adventure later tonight on Fantasy Island, but before that, it's time to meet the Thames men. George! Hello! How are we doing? Good, mate. Good, mate. What you don't know, people, is I managed to have a good old dig at his mum just before we started. I think I, found, I think I pushed George to the very edge there. Do I, don't, I don't have an edge. I just have a moment, you know? <laughs> Not like my moment the other week when I tried to bend the Thamesman. Yeah, well, yeah, but, but mine was much more p- p- sort of silly, passive-aggressive moment, I would suggest. Ladies and gentlemen, have we spent too long together? Anyway. I, exactly. It's like an old married couple, really, it isn't is. it? Yeah. Uh, d- ba- but in ba- the divorce, I'm not getting your pugs. You can keep the bloody things. I'm yeah. bagged to be the big spoon. My, my, my son was talking to me. He wants to show me. He says, and I, I've got to check this out. And maybe we can put it behind us. He said, have you ever seen an MRI picture of a pug's head? Uh-huh. And apparently it's highly amusing, apparently, he says. Hey, I haven't seen it yet, but he keeps telling me I've got to see it. It's like if you've ever seen a pug skull, if the aliens come down in years to come, they would think, oh, my God, and they try to recreate it <laughs> to see what the animal would look like. <laughs> oh, right, exactly. Like one of those fake dinosaurs in the museum. Oh, yes, it's got feathers and wings and a beak. Yeah. No, you Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alex, and I am just hanging on in San Francisco before I move. Uh. Exactly, it's, it's days away before the big push, isn't it? You know, ooh, the big well, push, the big yeah, push, the big move. I'm George. I'm in Los Angeles, and you've reached the high reaction, low budget <laughs> entertainment channel. Exactly, and uh, tonight, tonight, people, tonight, tonight, we're doing a bit of a promo. Tonight is a baby metal track because uh, we have got a whole curated week of baby metal tracks coming up. And so we also want to give you a little taster of what was to come uh, for those who don't know about baby metal. So so you need to buckle your seatbelts and be ready for this. Yeah, we've got that We've got that edit in the can. Well, we've got the recording in the can. We went through that and we've done a curated week. You, Baby metal are one of the most polished, mm-hmm. produced, the most uh, rehearsed, the most uh, amazing band behind them. It is an it is an amazing machine, baby. Yeah, great story, yeah, really good story. And and so, like uh, you know, so please like and subscribe, and then you'll get notification when it's going to come up the week. But we've got some notes. Thank you very much, Chris. And uh, you know, uh, so we're uh, going to have a look at this, and probably Len, I imagine, maybe because uh, Len helped put together the curated week. So. Um, Shall I read the notes? Um, I don't Shall mind. I read the notes? No, you you go for it. You try and have a hack at them, and if you get stuck, I'll come in and butcher the rest of them. Okay, <laughs> let's see. It, it's the Japanese words we have the problems with. So this is a track from 2014. Uh, so uh, and it's called Road of Resistance. Um, and so the notes say, uh, Baby Metal is a Japanese kawaii metal. Uh, group that has courted controversy since their inception due to their young age and their combination of J-pop style vocals, searing metal backing instrumentation and heavily choreographed dancing. Early on, baby metal were often dismissed as a gimmick, but 12 years down the track, they have gained millions of fans worldwide and the respect of many established metal acts such as Metallica, Slipknot, Rob Zombie and Rob Halford. Road of Resistance is a rollicking power metal song about forging your own path and overcoming obstacles that are in your way. The song is one of positivity and encourages people to follow their hearts, to be brave and have faith in their own ability. That's like uh, wow, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. The, the notes continue. I'm not. I'm not. Oh my god, these notes. Oh, maybe I was about to read the wrong notes. Actually, even while knowing that the road ahead is unmade, untrodden, and will be difficult to navigate, Baby Metal's production company has a history. No, sorry. Full stop. <laughs> Maybe you should take over Baby Metal's production. Baby Metal's get- production company has a history of blocking some of their official videos. Mode of resistance. Is one of them. Why the bloody hell are we doing it there? Because it's, blocked. <laughs> it's like who's setting us up here? Yeah, right. You know exactly. I mean? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <sighs> for this reason, <laughs> you will never see the video ever again. Yeah. <laughs> no, for this reason, the video we will watch here is a compilation of video footage from several live performances. However, mm-hmm. the audio is live from one source only. 
Baby Metal's 260 performance of the Tokyo Dome, where they played to a sold-out crowd of 55,000 people. Ooh. I tell you what, Chris does great notes. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, so I, I, I'm, I'm intrigued to see what it turns up with. So, As my friend said, uh, before it starts, quickly just hit that subscribe button because in a maybe in a week, two weeks, three weeks or something, we've got it coming out the whole Baby Metal week. So uh, you'll get notification when it's ready. Mm, we've got to better go on with our editing, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, mm. Three, two, one, boom.
Wow. another planet the whole production level of that is out there unbelievable the just the speed they delivered that at, you know with the energy it was on the crowd but like the crowd were like the extra member of the band you know yeah. they were like right there you know what a crowd and they i mean they can be so easy to dismiss so oh you know it's cute metal or whatever it's a manufactured band oh the amount of hours and uh, practice and sweat and choreography and the band. I mean, just the, um, to get that together, was it was it was a masterpiece. Yeah, exactly. You know, and, and you've still got to have a great tune behind it all. Yes. You know, it, it, yeah, for it to work, you know, and, yes. and it absolutely works. You know, it is blinding speed metal mayhem. Yeah. Fantastic, you know. Yeah. Oh, with a couple that. of, with, with three... Uh, Children. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I mean, like, they started very young. We've, we, I mean, you have to watch. watch you have to week. watch your curator week because yeah. some of the bonus footage that Lenar, uh, who pulled a week together, has put in, the history of it's just crazy. Yeah, really interesting stuff. So so this is just a taste, a little soupçon, uh, aperitif, is it, or whatever you think? What's yeah. that, what's that yeah, thing they give you in restaurants nowadays? The, An aperitif? No, the other thing. They've got a funny name for it, Bond or something. A little tasty thing. Free like when you go to a fancy restaurant, you probably don't go to a fancy restaurant. They don't. No, I don't. Know. No, I don't. I don't know. Free fries, scratch yeah, card to get fries. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's the scratch card. Yeah, it was a scratch card to start it off. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh God. Yeah. So anyway, 
Yeah, the um, we, we've obviously got our ear tuned into it. Um, yeah. I mean, but that was just a crazily good, crazy good. And uh, my my um, uh, my perceptions of baby metal are were destroyed after the week. Yeah, they are. They've totally. just so heightened, so heightened. So what a great voice! What a great song! What a great band! Huh? Oh, fantastic! And really fun. Just really good fun. And like they. Every track we've seen, they look like they're loving life, you know, and they're doing, they're enjoying their, the presence, the crowd, everything. Yeah. Just yeah, amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, so right. stick around. Join. If, like, you were to give that, if you were to give that a number out of 10, where would that be? That's a nine for, for the yes. baby metal number nine, I would say. I think you're absolutely right. I actually, yeah. I'd actually put it as a 9.5, which is Ooh. so, because Ooh. I mean, there yeah, is, a, there's probably, I don't know, I, there are, they, I don't know a band which is better as in terms of the musicians. Yeah, that backing band is ridiculous. Really, ridiculous. Is and it's then ridiculous. you put everything else on top—the choreography and this lights and yeah. the crowd. It's... Yeah, and and yeah, and and there's and her singing as well. Is yes, just, she's really good. Really, good. really good. Yeah. So, All right. So. Oh. Well, we'd still better hurry up and get that edited so we can get on with oh, the no. curated week for everyone. If you're in for it. Next time you see me, I'm going to be in a little black dress with a little red tutu. Again? <laughs> I'll do the fox sign. All right, everyone. Uh, look forward to seeing you on the Baby Metal Week, and the video's coming up. So thank you for joining us for that one. See you on the flip side. Ciao. Ciao.